Hey, welcome to this training. This is Big Data for YouTube Data. I'm Carlos Contreras, Big Data Analytics Architect. A little bit about me, I've been working since year 2002 in the data space. I've worked for multiple companies in different sectors. Over the last 3.5 years, I've been working for Amazon Web Services as a Big Data and Analytics Architect. Now, what this project is about? Well, first we're going to simulate a real customer need. Okay, so we are going to simulate that we are working in a real project, okay, for a company, let's say. So our simulated customer is launching a new data-driven campaign, okay. What that means is that they would like to have a lot of information to analyze, to do, for example, business intelligence, okay, before they do their product placement, okay. Their main advertisement channel is YouTube, okay? So the data set that we're going to be playing with in this simulated environment is going to be from YouTube, okay? Now, some customers that some questions that we would like to answer at the end of this project is, for example, how we can categorize videos based on their comments and statistics, or what factors will affect how popular a YouTube video is, okay? Why YouTube? Well, if we take a look to the top three most visited websites, we can see that YouTube is the top two, okay? So what that means is that a lot of projects that we're gonna be working with in the future, they may want to ingest and analyze data from YouTube. So hopefully you're gonna be able to reuse all your learning knowledge and code that you're gonna be having after this project. Now. As you may expect in any project, you need to measure success, right? You need always to set targets. So if you are defining a project with a customer, you need to have a set of goals to measure success at the end of your project. For example, this customer as the success criteria is saying that they will like to have a mechanism to ingest data, okay? As one of processes and incrementally, for example, to bring the new data every day or every hour or every minute. Now, they will, also, they will also like to design and build a new data lake in the cloud, okay? Which cloud, in this case, AWS. That's gonna be the, the cloud provider that, that we're gonna be working with during this, this, this project. We're gonna be also working in designing extract, transform, and load processes, okay? So really, really cool thing because we're gonna be doing some real ETLs in the cloud. Scalability. This is another way that our customer will measure success. Our solution needs to scale very well in, ter in terms of cost and performance. Finally, they also need a reporting layer. What that means is that they will have business users where they can have a place to have, for example, dashboards where they can just drag and drop information in order to build insights for their business. In this case, for their new product. In the next lesson, what you will learn is what you will be learning in this course, okay? So thank you very much and see you in the next video and see